We'll whack this one on for five minutes. Um, not ten minutes, sorry. All right, game number one. Tessimus going to be bringing out the Decimus. Is that a cutter? Oh, we saw a cutter there. All right. So, guys, in the blue, we're going to be seeing Wekafer just toward Reaper in the semi finals playing as Cutter. And in the red. We're going to be seeing Tess 300 bringing out Decimus. Chopper reporting for that. Why are we not producing power? Harvester constructed. Chopper getting very aggressive here. Going to go for the mini steel. Uh, Marine's going to pick it up. Let's be careful. He might lose that Marine. He's going around the back. He's definitely not going to be able to get the back one. Uh, we got three Marines in the middle, but this Grunt did manage to snag all the power on his side. We've got another Grunt here snagging this power as well. Probably just want to get aggressive with these Marines now. Get on his side of the map. This is the best mini to steal for a banished player who has jump pat brutes. Watch Tower coming up. And that is a lacklust of power for Wekafer. I feel like he would have been better off with the Forge pick here. Go in that giant second, but Tess is going to be taking too many bases away from him. Upgrade complete. Our base is under attack. Supply pad constructed. Barracks constructed. He wants to claw back some of that power, so he's going to be picking up an early power node. It's going to definitely help him. Uh, we do have the red cap up at the back. This one's probably just going to be a supply pad. Collecting a lot of resources around the map now. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. A sniper coming out. Can just whack that in the garrison, but his gens at the back, that is a problem uh, when you lose this mini base here. They can just jump straight down onto it and he has a vortex. Two or three jump pack brutes can kill the gen uh, with the vortex, so uh, just have to be careful. He's picking up a few power nodes in the middle, preparing to lose that gen, I guess you could say. Uh, looks like that mini base is locked, we've got a couple of marines coming around. Sniper coming out. Uh oh, we got a sniper in the middle been harassed by the chopper that sniper wants to get back he has scouted the raid camp there so you want to get that back Tess is not over buying on the minis on his side of the map waiting for the perfect opportunity stopping the barracks to an armory now here are the free jump pack brutes they jump down vortex hit the gen's dead Oh, we got three choppers in the mix as well. What are those mines? Yeah, those mines need to be like around his base somewhere. We're picking off a chopper coming down the middle. He should probably just... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, he's going to lose the gen. He can't really count a push because he's got jump back brutes on his base. A Vortex coming down onto the armory and the supply pad there, but he is caught right now. He needs to focus these choppers down rather than the jump pad brutes. 
Choppers are the problem, and he can deal with all of that. He, Jerome is three seconds out. He's going to be able to get out. We've got a sniper in the garrison as well. More jump pack brutes and choppers coming out, but looks like Tess is going to get wiped here. Losing all of these choppers, and this is a huge ball from Wekafer. He may have lost his gen, but look at this looking huge army ball he has. He's losing the two power nodes. So good pickup by Tess to obviously recover there by taking the nodes away from him for a little while. Oh, that's going to hurt Wek. Hijack researched. Problem is, like, now he's going for a push. He needs to deal with this. He needs to at least leave a couple of units to deal with this. Going for a big push down the middle. He's going to take these power nodes away from him. We've got a turret coming up. Warlord coming out. Interesting. I would have preferred a raid camp there. Series turrets because this is a huge army push down the middle. He's going to have ODST drop very soon. We are seeing some more jump up routes come out of there to take that gem back down. I would upgrade the front one. No, he has enough power to do so. But yeah, he's taking this node, he's scouting the expansions. Chopper's now coming out in the middle. Almost got the ramp to deny that. That is unfortunate. Uh, but he's going to be clawing back a lot of power uh, with these power nodes. This is the problem. It's just going to hurt him again so much. What do you see? He comes down on all of the choppers. The mines come down. That might be a bit overkill. All the choppers are dead. Tess is in trouble. This is going to be a huge push onto the main base by Wekifer. Two choppers left. A Sui and an unupgraded Warlord. One turret. Did he froze on his team mines? He did not froze on his team mines. So this is going to be a problem. Yeah, he's splitting around the base. He's just going to back off by the looks of things. Did he come back on defense? Not sure. I mean, it's only one turret. I feel like he could at least kill the Warlord and get out of there. Uh, but he's playing it safe. He's playing a lot safer. Do agree with what he's doing. Just not ignoring this, of course. Only one sniper at the back. Four jump pepper is easily going to take down that second gen. Luckily, he does have the nerds. All he has to do, he could take the other two nerds, keep the nine expansions, and he'd be looking like in a, a very good spot. Vortex is back up. Second turret coming up now. Just sat here, not really getting a lot done. Siphon actually coming down on the jump pepper. The Vortex coming down on it as well. Another generator going to be falling. He cancelled the second gen because that cost him 500. Uh, so he can rebuild it for 200 after losing that one. He does have 1500 blue. And this was a huge mistake. Just letting this raid camp live at the back here. The enemy has captured our power node. That's Jump Up Roots putting so much work. And now Tess is retaking the map. He's in tech two though. In tech two, only has uh, one mini base. We're under attack. Our base is under attack. All the power has been taken away from. Kill it! Don't let him live. No! <laughs> oh! Oh! I let it decap. That's so unfortunate, bro. Tess is clawing back a pretty huge army now. I mean, he did lose a lot on the push, of course. All the chops, all the jump back brutes. But I feel like he's gained that back just by taking down all these gens again. And I mean, that raid camp's still there at the back. Wekifer just not really dealing with it. It's not getting a lot done. Tess is a long way away from tech two. Wekifer sitting on 1700 blue. He's got an air pad coming up, which means he can get some nightingales to obviously smoke the gens if this happens again. ODST Satchel Man manages to connect with all of these. Does have ODST drop ready. Wards coming in. He can kill this. ODST Spartan Slam. Would be nicer. Jump pad brutes now coming down. What is he doing? ODST's come down. The beam comes down on top of the Spartan. Actually going to be jumping away. I think that was a mistake. 
don't think the Spartan wants to be jumping away from the fight. Being comes down on all the other though. The Warlord has lost his shield. Now, jump at Bruce, putting him work at the back. He has bound the Siphon. Oh, he eats the Satchel Mine there. The Warlord does go down. Still battling for these nodes in the middle. Well, chasing him. He doesn't have grenade throw. That is another generator about to get taken down. Spartan didn't chase. The Warlord does finally go down. Uh, who do the nodes belong to right now? Bit of a mix. Tess going to be getting tech 2. Going to be picking up an expansion. So Wekafet really has to do something now. Really has to do something. He's lost another generator. Vortex comes down on the other generator. It does get cancelled though. He has now cleared that many with the ODST. He's working on the other one now. Citadel upgrade complete. Finally managed to deal with all of that. Uh, but in the background, Tess Macro in very well, getting into Tech 2. He's got an expansion coming up and still working on these power nerds as well. Wex died so well in this game. He was doing so well at the start. Just let that raid camp cause too much damage to his main. He has two leader points now. Both players pretty similar on population. Um, Wex just needs to eco up, macro up. He has drops, Tess does not. He only has the Desi drop that he has to worry about. Still going to be very hard to deal with. Yeah, it's going to be slamming onto that node, denying that. So it is two nodes to two for the time being. Many bases finally all cleared out. We're going to be seeing the Tech 2 Spartan. And at this point, when the cutter's like this far behind, it's very hard to deal with the, the two unkillable leaders. That war council coming back up. But that said, Tess does have no production. He only has the single raid camp with a single foundry coming up. If Wet can kill this expansion, um, he'll be looking in a pretty decent spot. He's killing a lot of these grunts. All the grunts getting taken down. 34 population 229. Test with 1500 blue. Bird player still tech 2. I'm getting hit by enemy infantry. I'll push down the middle. Expansion 40 seconds out from being upgraded. The Warlord is about to be back out as well. We now get Wekifer picking up an expansion. Leader power ready. I'm receiving fire from enemy ground troops. Spawn <laughs> obliterating him. Supply pad constructed. Taking all the notes though, he's going to be clawing back a lot of power if he can keep onto these notes for a little bit longer. Would have liked to have seen him push this before it got upgraded. He can now start looking at a shield. There's a ranger here. Slam out missile in the chirp point possibly. 31 pop versus 59. Wekafer has half the population of Tess because he's saving up for his drops. He does get a vet one Spartan but... Uh, Anybody watching this? If you're playing cutter and you have drops, you want to build full pop and then drop when you lose units, not just wait out for your drops like this. Supply pad constructed. Well, are going to be stunning the Spartan as it goes away. There is the OST drop. Archer missile down on top as well. That's a good Archer missile. Lotus mines on the retreat. The beam goes over the mines rather than the army. Forced to do so. One Nightingale falls. A couple of units fall and a couple of units get pulled in as well. There is the big drop. Where's the Destiny drop? Tess can only just afford it right now. That's about to be dropped in. That is here. The wire ability goes off right in the middle of the ODST group. And a huge slam then comes down from Jerome as well. Focus the Warlord first. He's the weak one, but you kind of need to split this. Warlord goes down. The Vortex comes down on top. They're pretty much trading armies right now. There's a turret poking at the Wolverine as well. And the tank is going to get taken out. I don't really agree with the close air support there, but... Rather rebuild my army because I'm only on 17 population and you're not going to kill the Decimus. All get much done uh, against this base. 
Senpai at 13 population versus 36 in favor of Tess. Uh, most of that looks like he's building. We got a shield gen coming up at the back, but the close air spot wasn't in the best position uh, to actually take that down. Oh, he's actually reaching it. <laughs> Spat I'm running away, but he's being pulled in. He's going to be jumping out of there. Close air support has now been used. Uh, kind of a waste of blue, to be honest. He's not spamming units in the background while all this is going on. Uh, getting very far behind on population because Tess is spamming, but Weck is not. And now Decimus uh, can repop very quickly with just grunts. 1500 blue, 1200 power, and he's going to get his Spartan pulled in. That is unfortunate. I think he just threw the game right there. Weck was looking in such a good spot. Uh, now we have a shield on the expansion. 68 pop versus 42. Hornets coming out. Uh, it's not going to really do much against the grunt spam. Nightingale is here, but we do have two Reavers and a load of grunts. I'm under attack from the enemy! This is really where Cutter starts to fall off against Decimus. A huge Y ability comes in. Uh, going to be denying the leader. And Tess is going to be taking game number one. Which was just a massive end-to-end. Uh, -end there. Look at the units killed, units lost. The economy advantage of Tess just by taking out all of those generators. Uh, it's way ahead on economy. It's almost 2,000 in each department. But Weck looks like he had a great advantage until the jump pack Bruce, and even even after losing all the gens from the jump pack Bruce, he was still in a good spot. I just couldn't quite close it out, so we're going to be going to Frontier for game two. Uh, this time, um, we're going to be seeing Senpai pick Decimus for himself, and we're going to be seeing Atriox from Tess. We're getting very aggressive here in the middle. Uh, we've got the counter chopper, but we did have two grunts running to that side along with the chopper as well. Going to come help him. Uh, looks like Tess decided to go across to the powers on the side. So he's going to get all that where Weck is going to collect all of the central resources. wonder if he's going to do Warlord against the Chosen here. Let him get all that. There is the War Council fifth. Double minis in the middle have been picked up by Weck. Good pickup. Yeah, he's a bit late to the power on this side as well. More grunts coming across. Looks like Tess might get a kill on this grunt. The chopper is on the way. Now he's going to pick this one off instead. Going for the mini steel. Gonna be four mini bases to two. 
Uh, but he really has to think about what he's going to do to deal with that Chosen. Get a chopper on chopper action to start the day. There's the chosen plasma rounds now being researched. Ah, I threw it down. Oh, that is unfortunate. The Sentinel's going to be taking down the mines. Um, while he works on two power nerds. We are going to be seeing the Warlord. We have Hammer Pull being researched. We've got the Warlord pressing across the map. 23 population, 226. Just has to make use of that Vortex. No jump pack brutes. Oh, there we go. The raid camp now gets cancelled. All right, we got a raid camp on the top right hand corner. I almost messed the pull up there. The pull comes in, grabs everything. Where's the slam? Oh my god. Oh, he messed it up. He didn't slam. The Y ability didn't come down. Oh boy. Mine's going down on the nose. He messed up the engagement. Where was the slam? That could have been huge for Wekafer. Great suicide gun coming in. He's just going to run into all of the mines as well. All right, here we go. He pulls the Chosen in. There's no shield. The slam goes down. Siphon goes down on the Warlord and one grunt. Mines go down, but the, the Chosen is dead. He's just going to walk away now. Did what he needed to do. All of the grunts going to get taken out. Faye, 26 population for test. 28 for Wekafer. We got a suicide grunt drop coming down from Tess. The sewer is going on the wall, Lord. He wants him dead. Oh, run. Oh, he's going to trade him. Great sewer drop. Absolutely perfect sewer drop. 26 population versus 16. Second gen comes up. Obviously, the Chosen's coming back out, so I don't know why you wouldn't rebuild your wall, Lord. Needs to get some done now, though. No, this is a good start. As soon as he won that fight, he should have got his Warlord out of there. Got his shields back. That was unfortunate. Our base is under attack. What is your command? Oof. The mines. They're good. He doesn't have grunt mine yet, but there's more sewers coming in. He needs to get these splits in order. Yeah, there's the splits. Chosen's back out. This is a problem. Late war council from uh, Senpai now. Almost tech two. You almost don't want the warlord back out. Is under attack. War council constructed. Leader power ready. And tech two now. Under 
We're losing that mini base. Tess getting his second gen upgraded. As Wekafer Senpai gets into tech two. Harvester first, then Apex. Raid camp going down as well. Double raid camp going down. He's kind of killing his pads. Raid camp constructed. Raid camp constructed. Harvester constructed. A lot of mines in the middle. Go walking by. Hammerstone researched. There's the Tech 2 Warlord. Uh, we're going to be seeing a Tech 2 Chosen very soon. Wet Cannon needs to take this engagement right now. We do have some Rangers to take down these mines. Got to be careful not to walk into them. Another mini has been taken down, so it will be a swing in mini bases, four to two in favor of Tess this time, unless Wet can grab that. Here's the engagement. How far away? So we drop coming down. Could be another devastating one. Where's the beam though? Slam and beam. Sujok comes down, it's not great. The Chosen at the back. Tess losing everything. All of the guns getting taken down. Plasma Mines is back up and ready. Scorch round still 15 seconds out. I don't know why he took that engagement, but the Warlord gets an insta vet one. Engineers coming out, more ranges as well. Can build a raid camp in the center if he wants to. Can he get a pull here? This would be a great pull. Hasn't used beam, hasn't used vortex. The vortex comes down on the chosen. Oh, did it walk into the vents? Oh my god. <laughs> There's the pull. And the slam. No, you hit the wrong guy. He got the pull, but it wasn't good enough. There is three turrets on this base. Can he get another pull off? I don't know how long that cooldown is. The chosen is a lot faster. There's the pull. Now he has to get the slam. Yeah, the slam comes down. Messed it up a few times. Great siphon. Being going to be coming down, but that chosen is a goner. That chosen is dead. You can still split work. It's not over yet, buddy. Losing all there. 40 population to 22. And Tess is going to resign. Wekifer ties it up at 1 1 in the grand finals. Oh, damn. Two outstanding first games by these two finalists here. Game three is going to be going down on the rift. Are we going to be seeing an Arbiter vs. Ship? Damn. Players ain't messing. Alright, jumping straight into it. Game. Number three. Ah, wrong side. We're seeing Senpai playing as Arbiter. Tess playing as Shipmaster. Harvester constructed. Yeah, it should be a ghost mirror. Uh, we are seeing Senpai open double grunt. And a test opening ghost. I normally think, even if you play ghost, it's always good to open double grunt. 
Um, get more vision on the map, get more map All control, more resources. It's just go, this coming straight for this power. The enemy has sent ground troops to attack. Sentinels get shot. The grunt is trapped there and he's going for the mini steel. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get it. He's going to be able to get back there and get it. Yeah, picks it up just in time. Just in the nick of time. Grunt coming back for the power now. Double Grunt here to fend off the ghost. Really don't want to lose a Grunt early on. Uh, but Senpai does have good map control on the power. Picks up the power here. Some power here. Picked up some power here as well. So grabbing a lot of it early on. Just depends how these players are going to go. Uh, I think Tess might go into Mass Ghost and uh, I think Senpai might just try and get that quick tech too. Harvester constructed. Jump in the garrison, he is quick enough. Get away from the ghost. He's holding out. Definitely holding out for the second gen there. That's gonna be slapped down. Is that ghost? Yeah, it is gonna be seeing ghost from Tess and the double gen from Weck. Harvester constructed. Ghost ready to scout. Just a grunt spam now. He's going to try and pick up some nerds. You can see how far ahead he is on power. Only 400 away from tech 2. But we do have ghost shielding. Vehicle shielding coming out for these ghosts. That's going to be a good scout for him. I think Tess will just play that out. I don't think it'll last long. But Weck will be able to see what exactly Tess is building. is under attack. Going tech two now. Start picking up his first power nerd. Looks like we got rid one and two from Tess. He's going to be picking up his first nerd as well. We are being fired on from the air. now forced to run away. Red camp coming up on the back. We got Surrey coming up as well. No second red camp. Yeah, two of them should jump into the garrison. Might get the power node steal here. The enemy has captured our power node. Gonna trade power nerds, so that is good from Senpai. Only the second gen now coming up for Tess. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. We're seeing the double raid camp hunters with the apex come out for him. And Tess is just gonna be working on these power nerds. Our base is under attack. Ghost under aerial assault. Yeah, more ghosts coming out. Expansion picked up. It's about to be four power nerds, two zero. There's expansion coming up. Test still 400 power away from Tech 2. All the ghosts are coming in now. He's only got one hunter out. This could be bad. Yeah, might want to drop some mines in the mix there. It does manage to drop the mines in. Not going to catch any ghosts with the mines. Being going to be coming down in the chirp point. Hunter is going to be the focus, but two hunters do come in. Don't actually get the shots off. 
thought he was going to get some shots off with those hunters, but not quite. Stasis comes down onto the ghost. Uh, probably not the best stasis, to be honest. It's going to allow the hunters to catch up. They're going to get a couple of shots in. That is a long-ass stasis, but... It's not going to get a lot. Yeah, he's going to get two ghosts. So I'd swap into rangers now. That's exactly what he's doing. Picking up his expansion and start getting on some of these power the nodes. Has captured our power node. Another power node being picked up for Tess. And we are finally going to see him get tech two. He has the expansion up. Senpai has used both of his leader powers, the mines uh, and the stasis. Gonna have to wait for them to come back up before he takes the next engagement because next point, fourth point, will be spirit support. Uh, and usually, as the Arbiter player, you'll want to be looking at getting that Conduit of Rage level 2 to buff your army even more. Generator now coming up for Senpai. Power extractor constructed. Could use the Tech 2 leader. The 2 leader very strong as Arbiter. Now the Rangers are starting to come out for Tess. He's got two raid camps uh, and an Apex as well, but he's very far behind on the Tech 2 army composition. Already used his beam as well. And here is a push up by Senpai. He's going to be occupying that garrison as well. That's going to be difficult for him. Space is not upgraded. The Rangers come out. The mines go down. Going to be buffing his units, giving them a speed boost as well as they push up onto this army. Foundry constructed. Only bust for a short time. Doing a lot of damage here. He can stay. He's got the engines with the engine shield. This base gets upgraded, and here comes the spirit support. That's tough. Got an enforcer drop coming down at the front of the base as well. He wants to try and get as much base damage done as possible. That's a turret at the back. Yeah, even though he did that, he's wasting his buff by running away. Yeah, I wish he did some damage to that base. Enforcers melt bases so quickly. Now, both players pretty similar on population. Could deal with some of these nerds as well while he has the map control. Has two of them. Looks like he's just going to be clearing out the vision. We've got a shield gen coming upon his expansion. Fair generator now being upgraded. And we are now seeing a push out from Tess. Shield going up. The later this game goes, remember, um, I bet it gets very strong the more points you put into the conduit. The enemy has captured our power node. Ghost on our leader power ready. Blasting beam is back up ready. for Tess. War council constructed. Fair generator coming up for him now. Uh, probably going to look at a shield on that base very soon, but it is 79 population versus 66. Also has a beam. Now we're seeing him swap into foundries as he goes into tech three. Uh, wasted mines there is just losing out on the power nerds. About to lose all five of them. They have sent a few. Turret complete. Enemy infantry attacking. The enemy has captured our power node. Enemy infantry yeah, Tess has good map control on all of the power complete. nodes here. Fortress upgrade complete. Uh, this is a shield gen on the main. They send their vehicles against me. I mean, we could have seen a sneaky enforcer player uh, running around the back, cleaning out some of these minis. It's about time you want to be looking at picking up your third base or some sort of reinforcements 
We do have Wraiths coming out with the Arby Leader as well. Uh, no tech free yet from Tess. Just about to queue that up. Upgrade, Does already upgrade. have the double foundries. We're currently at every point in this game. Uh, Wex ready. being one step ahead. Forces going around the side now. We are beset by infantry. We're under attack from enemy troops. There is a fed base being picked up by Tess. Can ram that, get him off the node. Got to take some of these nerds back. It's five power nerds for such a long time. It's allowed him to catch up on tech, get tech free very quickly. Does now have the wraiths out. Arbit are pushing forward as well. Next on the cards probably wants to be Scorch Mortar or Reinforcements. Shield on the main, shield on the expansion now. Uh, definitely wants to look at picking up his third base. Then we do have Tess storming down the middle for an engagement. Is he just getting rid of these? Not too sure what he's doing with them. No, we have the Rangers at the back. He's leaving his enforcers there because he wants to take the base and he does manage to get the base as well. Our allies are in danger. Scorch Mortar researched. We have Scorch Mortar out for Senpai. We do have three foundries for Tess. Abbott Leader coming across to this expansion. Ranger's going to get cleared out over here just because of the Vet 2. We're going to be winning that fight. And another base has now been picked up for Tess. This base being upgraded. we got a War Council coming up for him. Enforcer drop coming now. This base is going to get melted. This base is gone. Like, it's non existent. Doesn't exist anymore. It's dead. If you stop running, it's dead. <laughs> Look how. Wow. Engies are trying to get over so quickly, but it's gone. Hit and run. The base died so quickly. These wraiths need to get over here as well. Our allies are Just in these danger. nerds, man. Five power nerds for so long in this game in favor of Tess. Big upgrades coming up for him. I am up against an enemy vehicle. Got Scorch, obviously, for Weck, uh, but nothing else. Base is dead as well. Got some blisters coming out. Couple of blisters. Very nice. Reinforcements finally. Yeah, he's trying to pick that back up, but he's hiding the enforcers back there. How many base does get uh, held by the Abitur as well? This base once again being picked up. If your opponent keeps picking up bases like this in front of you, uh, you should switch your brain on and know that they have a unit somewhere in the vicinity, in the area. Same with this one, there you go. He's found him. It's cool. We're being targeted by ground troops. Reaver ready for carnage. Our base is under attack. You dead. Very slow build up by the players. Oh, I think Weck. Weck is definitely ahead in this game. He wants to be taking both of these bases. He took one. Probably going to take this one as well. He's got 4k blue. He's got reinforcements. Um, He's ahead as Arbiter, and he's just going to keep getting further and further ahead the longer the game goes on. We got the blisters out, we got the bigger Wraith numbers, we got Scorch Mortar. Uh, the only thing Tess really has going for him right now is that vehicle level 2 is being researched, but I see, yeah, I see two Wraiths from him, uh, and like eight, yeah, eight Wraiths from Weck. The Wraiths are coming across. Enemy has captured our power node. He could essentially just push and uh, stasis the army. Yeah, vehicle level two Leader now being researched ready. for Weck as well. Senpai slightly uh, about half a minute behind. 
on his upgrade, but it will be there. Just gonna be a push to the main. Potentially could be, but players now have reinforcements. <laughs> we got a blister up top. Oh, the Arbit is here. This base is in close. We got a push to the main. Conduit goes down. That shield's going to drop very quickly. We I like the split push. Arbit needs to get out of there, though. A couple of wraiths on the minis. No shield on the main. Clock and Gen going to get taken. Down! Oh, the Clock and Gen falls, but he does get displaced into the beam. Immediately teleports out of it. Great play by Senpai. Basically countered the only play that Tess had. Got the stronger army here, he's buffed now as well. He wants to start focusing down these units. I think the Arbiter Hero did fall. Got to cycle those energy shields as well. Spirit support gonna be coming down. Oh, nice stasis goes down as well. That is kind of rage level two, buffing his arm. He's gonna be taking down these gens, stripping half of the base. Still pretty similar population, but Senpai does have a huge bank compared to Tess here. A lot of weak units, but the engines are keeping them alive. Foundry constructed. Mini's getting cleaned out. Oh, this base is getting stripped. He, he's actually going to main it. He needs to focus the army or stay out of range of the army. A lot of his units are weak. Mass cloaking coming down. Oh, it's going to turn the fight. He has no detects. Like he's got a ranger at the front, but he almost killed that ray. He'll be healing up his army. Good extract from Tess as well, just to keep his main base alive for the time being. We need to get cleared out by the Marauder and the Wraith. 84 pop for Tess versus 66 for Senpai. He can repop with Wraith, though. He has 3k blue. Tess has nothing left in the bank, and he did lose a lot of pads in that engagement. Mini gets taken out, and now he's just going to start focusing the third base here. Yeah, this one should be We're online by now. Uh, late to upgrade it. It does have a gen on as well. Fourth gen, in fact. Uh, that's very risky. Expensive and risky on this Our side. Is under attack. The power nodes still seem to be a problem for Senpai. It's not really picking those up. And Tess did waste 400 power into upgrading this. Just slowly rebuilding his man. Our allies are in danger. Got an NG on it. Arbit is on his way as well. So is nine other wraiths to support. Go for another sneak attack on the man. Or what he's going to do. Mini base, base getting upgraded, but the rest of the wraiths are now here. I mean, they could train, trade here, main for expansion. I uh, know what I'd rather lose. Ready to take down. Mini base complete. It's already half health. Shit, 40 seconds away. This place is ready, though. It needs to split. Might be able to displace him out and not lose the shield gen. His curse is all the way on the other side of the map at the moment. His curse is here. Can he afford it? The shield is going to fall. More pads getting taken down. He's going for a trade. It's going to be all or nothing right now. He needs to mend this down before the displace gets used. I don't know why he hasn't opted for the displace yet. He's going to lose his main otherwise. And he doesn't have a third... Yeah, it's going to be a huge trade. Yeah, the displace comes out, but the enforcers were left. Doesn't realize uh, we will have mass stasis coming down. Going to be delaying this base from being taken. These turrets are not upgraded. Could do with upgrading them. Glassing beam level two is up and ready, but looks like Tess is going to be losing his main. These guys need to get under the shield with these turrets upgraded. Should have a smaller stasis as well. There's the smaller stasis. Split the army, so he should be able to defend that. The main goes down. The third gets scouted by the NG as well. And it looks like Wekafer might actually close out this game. 
As soon as he holds this push. Still got a lot of money in the bank. The enemy is shelling me. Our base is under attack. Well, guys, everyone said Tess was going to stomp the Tawny. Tess is in an office, but Senpai pulling it out the back here. Tied 1-1. Almost won game two, uh, game one, but not quite. Uh, and he's looking like he will close this one out. Cleaning all of the minis, taking another base. Yeah, it's looking good for him. Tess running out of money, running out of bank. Well, Senpai is just building another army. He's going for another push. Every Wraith matters for Tess right now. He just lost another one. They are expensive. 550 blue a pop. Walks into some mines. Ooh, almost got the pick there too. Oh, why is building Reavers? We're not seeing any sort of swap come out. More Wraiths back here. Could drop the stasis mines. Yeah, we're gonna drop the stasis mines. Text the base down again. And he can just back out. Just stuck on a single base, and we're now gonna see a push onto his final base. His army's caught out. It's the army that uh, he needs to kill right now, not bases. Gonna be buffed up with the conduit of rage with the enforcer drop. Oh no, that's spirit support, my bad. Getting late, you know what I mean? Our allies are in danger. <laughs> this far into the game, and Weck is finally getting the power nodes. This ain't gonna last long. The guys coming over, cleaning that out. Reaver reporting for duty. I mean, does Weck know what? kind of position he's in. Where'd all his money go? What the fuck? I mean, he's still on two bases. As if he can kill that army, he's won the game. Looks like he's just struggling to close this out now. Maybe worried about engaging. Uh, Tess is 100 pop. Quick on the 87. Doing a good job at denying seconds up. I'll just leave now. I don't think he's in a position to fight this. A third base is coming up. Our power node. Leader power ready. Us. <laughs> that was a bit early, a bit premature. Uh, but he comes into this fight fully buffed. Yeah, in the mix, there goes the stasis on half of the army. But he needs to turn around and fight this. This place comes out. Beam coming out, but he does have teleport, remember? That is a level, was that level three? The level three beam just gets countered once more by the teleport. Looks red to me. 76 versus 55, score, look at that score. That is disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Down to 43 population, somehow. Tess comes out on top in the fight. It's just whether he has the bank to repopulate. I bet it goes into rage mode. Absolute mental the guy. Hide behind their vehicle. Our base is under attack. Wake does pick up another Clear base. He's all supply pads on this. Get it upgraded with a shield on or a cloak on as quickly as possible. Oh, we got a gen on a mini over here. Oh, that's a nice find. Oof! One plasma bolt for good luck. Yeah, that goes. That's dead. That's gone. Just parking around. 
Ravens army here. Test doing the best to hold on, but despite being in a, a bad spot to begin with, Shipmaster just doesn't win this late game. Stronghold upgrade complete. Wex still comfortably on the two bases from the start. Here's the Mars, need the energy shield up. Get some energy shield up. I mean, he's trying to kill the base, but Graf's just taking him out. And Tess is finally going to resign. That's going to be 2-1 to Wekafer Senpai in the Grand Finals. We're going to go to a game number four. That will be taking place on Mirage. Can Tess pull it back? If Wekafer wins this one, uh, then that's it. I don't know what to tell you. That's it. Over. Tess loses. I did not start it. What the fuck? All right. This, yeah, this. I know. I I hate playing as Airchox versus Cutter, uh, but I feel like Mirage is completely different to other maps. I feel like Airchox could probably potentially win this, uh, but I still think it's pretty even, especially between these two players because they do seem pretty evenly matched. We are not producing power. Chopper reporting for battle. Harvester constructed. All right, as tests. Oh, what, what are we doing? Where's the voiceover? Confuses me. <laughs> this is why, Jubaka. This is why I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Expect. I feel like I'm losing my casting virginity again. I haven't casted for so fucking long. It's been a while. Been a while. Gen third. Uh, we are going to be seeing the War Council come up, so we will be seeing the Chosen. War Council constructed. We're getting hit from above. Mini 
Service complete. Uh, he's grabbed the two singles, he's grabbed the double. So far, so good for Senpai. Uh, he's on match point, so he wins this, wins everything. This is a $100 tournament. Uh, it's $50, so 50% of the prize will go to the winner. Uh, the rest is split between second and third. Oh, was it more? I can't remember when I put it more. Was it 60? Got a double raid camp in the middle. camp in the middle of the chosen up here as well it's barton coming out oh the cut player just needs to build a bit more up we got a hijack coming out no barracks though where is the lack of barracks our base is under attack lack of barracks versus uh the chosen Chopper under assault for second gen now coming up for senpai Hijack researched. Marines reporting. Anyway, where's Seven at? Seven didn't even show up for his own tournament. I have to have words with that guy. Baronian. Our chosen is he's pogging right now, going straight to the high ground. Doesn't need to be careful, is that one is on the Suez have a good split there. Avoiding the ODST drop. Got jump up going to the man. Ram goes in. Sui on the Spartan. This is really good by Senpai. Sui's going in on the Spartan. Joseph's here, Plasma Mine's going down. Sui's on the Marines as well. This is a lot of Suez. I don't even know how a UNSC player is meant to deal with this. I guess endless amounts of snipers and just kite, but then again, you don't know if they're going to go choppers. Jump 